Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to code uh, your clipboard history recorder with auto hotkey. So, of course, I assume that you know uh, the auto hotkey, the basics of auto hotkey. Auto hotkey is simply is the easiest, the simplest uh, scripting language. Okay, it's a free scripting language, so you can download it for free and install it. And you can uh, follow our tutorials to learn something about uh, this amazing scripting language. Okay, so that's my clipboard history recorder. I programmed it with other hotkey. Let's see it. So that's simple code. Okay, and so when I start it, so we can start it. We can make it start whenever we start our computer okay so let's start it so th this this clipboard history uh, script whenever I copy file or text it pastes it here okay so I find the history of the, the clipboard here okay so the clipboard now is empty okay so let's start it so later I will show you how to make it starts whenever the computer starts up okay so now let me just uh, let's for example copy this text here so I can I can press ctrl C or I can copy with the, the mouse with the mouse okay so I copied this text here Planations of various things you need to uh, so let's open it here so that's it that's our text okay that's an old one so let's for example let's copy this one here copy I copy this file here uh, I find it here so that's that's a path that's the absolute path of this link here of this link of this file here okay if I copy for example this I find it here also so and here that's the time when I when I copy this thing here this file here and that's the time uh, where I copy this uh, this text here okay so let's let's explain it okay or let's 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 program it together okay so because I want to make you understand deeply how you can uh, code this program so let's create a folder and here let's open it here I want to create my other hotkey script let's name it just a and here we want to create a file where we want to to store our slip clipboard events okay so let's just name it CLP okay uh, so let's open it <clears throat> here the first thing first I want to declare two variables okay so one is the old clipboard which equal empty string and the second uh, the second variable is current clipboard also is equal uh, empty string and here so let's declare a while loop so we explained already this what this while loop in our channel while one that's mean that I want to, to my program to keep running uh, to the infinity so we uh, it won't stop uh, never stop okay so here in this loop <coughs> the first thing so here I, I store 
in you uh, I store in you a clipboard when I see that the clip the old clipboard is different than this the current clipboard okay so the first thing here I must make that the current uh, clipboard this one here this variable is equal the clipboard okay so this that's that's a predefined variable in the auto hotkey so this variable here this function you can say uh, returns the the clipboard the system clipboard value okay and here I just check so if the clipboard is is different than the old the old clipboard so let's see just if i i find that the current clipboard is different than the old clipboard so in this case uh, let's just see a message box okay the, just to be clear here message box and we see just the current clipboard uh, excuse me so let's run and see what's happened here so that's a new clipboard excuse me where is the problem here if yes and here I must make that the old when I find that the current clipboard is different than the old clipboard I make the the old clipboard is equal the current this is a new clipboard okay So if you want to copy this, my, my code, you will find it in the descriptions below. You will find a link in the descriptions below, okay? So let's rerun it. So here, let's, let's, let's copy this folder here. Where is the problem? Excuse me. So a message box current clipboard equal clipboard. If I see the, this message, So that's new. So when I copy this, I see it here. When whenever I copy new text or something, so let's copy it by just pressing Control C. So whenever I copy, when I change the clipboard value, I see a message box. Okay. So let's copy this now. Quick reference. Let's copy this. This whole text. So that's a new clipboard, okay? So here in this in this simple code, we just so whenever we see that the old clipboard value is different than the current clipboard value, we see a message box uh, of the current clipboard, and and we make the old clipboard is equal to the current uh, clipboard, okay? And notice that this is a while loop here. This is infinite while loop here. So let's now, uh, so we say that we want to copy our clipboard's history in this file here. In this file here.
So we just uh, make the instead of writing a message box, so we use the the, the, the function file append. Okay. So what's mean uh, file append? File append that that's mean that. If I have a file, I have a text in our file. Append mean that we write from the end. Okay, so if I want to to append the text to Google, I just write it in the end of this file. Okay, so that's what means that the word append. Okay, so I I want to append. Excuse me. I want to append the current clipboard. Excuse me, let me stop this program. I want to, excuse me. I want to open this new clipboard uh, value to the file, the CLPTXT, okay? So that's CLP txt okay <clears throat> but here i want to so, so let, let's just let's run it excuse me let me close this where is the problem file happened this line does not contain a recognized action Yes, file is just one all here. <clears throat> let's rerun it. So let's, for example, let's copy this here. And let's copy this folder here. Let's now open our file. So here that's this is the name this is the path of this file here and this is the path of this folder here okay so but if i want to make so each each new clipboard value in a new line so we just make so in other hot key new line just to write this simple quote error and simple quote n okay so let's rerun it now so let's raise this value here uh, excuse me so let's run it so let's paste let's copy a text let's copy this text here Control C and then let's copy this text here Control C and let's copy for example this this file here okay and let's copy also this file here by Control C so now when I open so I find that so each clipboard value in in uh, in one line in one new line okay uh, so let's add the time if I want to add the time so I just write format time so and I put the value of the current time in the variable t uh, uh, so in the variable t and here I write the time okay so column here so let's see what happened so let's erase that <clears throat> let's rerun it now so I copy this folder and this folder here and let's copy it in text
So when I open, so that's the time. So that's the time of the first uh, clipboard value. And that's the time of the second clipboard value. And that's the time of the third clipboard value. Okay. So that's it. That's a simple, so simple code. Okay. So in the in the next video, of course, you can download my script. You will find a link in the descriptions below uh, forwarding you to download it. In the next video, I will show you how to how to code your keylogger with Auto IT. So Auto IT is is a language similar to Auto Hotkey. Okay. So I hope that you subscribe to my channel and I hope that you like this video and see you later.